Hi, it's me again. Welcome to Danish lesson number three. Three. Um, this time I'm gonna teach you some um, tourist uh, questions and lines and so on and so forth. And I hope you're gonna enjoy it. First, we have to figure out that is one of the hardest parts about Danish. It is uh, the you thing. We actually have four ways of saying you. Yeah. And the first one is the direct one, as I told you about in part two, which is do. Do. For example, you are sweet. Du er so. You are sweet. Du er so. Du. And then we have uh, the indirect uh, way of saying you, which is uh, as stated in part two. I hate you. Jai. Jai. Hava. Die, which I don't mean, but it's just an example. Die. That is the second way of saying you. Then there is the third way of saying you. That is, for example, if you um, say, what are you doing? Then it is, well, what are you doing? Then we actually take doing and put it right after what. That means that what doing are you, actually. Actually, we only say what doing you. Yep. And that is well, what, labor, doing, e, you, e. You. What are you doing? Bell, labor, i. And then we have the fourth way of saying you. That is, for example, as stated in part two, I love you, which is jeg elsker ja. Jeg elsker ja. But if you want to say, I love you, like to a person, to your boyfriend, to a girlfriend, whatever, then it is the direct way, the indirect way, sorry, uh, which is die. So that means you have to say, you is die. So you have to say, jeg elsker die. If you want to say it to a lot of people, then it's, yeah. You, yeah. But if you say it to one person, then it's two. Yeah, it's pretty confusing, I know. And then we have the swear words. Ooh, but everybody wants to know about another language. Yeah, and here they are. First of all, we have shit, um, which is lot. Lot. L O R T. Lot. Shit. And of course, we have fuck. Uh, but actually, in Danish, we have just taken that word and use it. Like, if I want to say in Danish, fuck you, which is indirectly you, then I say, fuck, die. Fuck, die. Or if I want to say to many people, then it's fuck, yeah. And then we actually use the word piss a lot. You know, pee, wee, uh, urine, whatever you call it, piss. Uh, in Danish we say like if something goes wrong we say, ah, piss. Which is just a common word. Uh, piss. P-I-S. Piss. Then we use the word fens which means the devils um <laughs> yeah 
it is just in Danish the devil that is Benun or Satan Satan uh, but usually we just say if something again goes wrong then we can say Fens which means the devils Fenuns um, yeah then we have a very common swear word, um, which is actually from the medieval times in Denmark, which means in ancient Danish, uh, may the poison kill me. Yeah. And that is called kraft idemme. Kraft idemme. If I want to say, I am beep angry, then I say, jeg. Er, are, kraft edme, angry, vred, vred, or if it's even mm. more than just angry, furious, for example, then it's rasene, rasene, which actually means raving. Um, so, kraft edme, may the poison kill me. Yeah. Well, away from the cursing stuff, I probably aren't going to be very popular for that, but many people want to know. I'm sorry, but they do. Anyways, um, an important word is beer. So, if you want to say beer in Danish, you have to use one of the weird letters. One of E or Ø or O. In this case, it is the Ø. A beer, or beer in general, is just called Øl. Øl. Yeah, it sounds like someone's throwing up, but it is called Øl. No matter in what amount, or how many, or so on and so forth. It's just called Øl. So that was Øl, beer. Um, but uh, in order to teach you how to ask for one, or more, in Denmark, then um, you have to learn the word please. But we don't have a short word for it as they do in English or in German, like bitte. We have to say, will you be sweet too? That is please in Danish. Which is called, will du være so at? So, if you want to say, please give me two beers, two beers, then it is, will du være so at, which is please, give me, give my, which is indirectly, my, two beers, to øl. To øl. We take it again. Please give me two beers. Vil du være så at give mig to øl? <laughs> and now it's time to say goodbye, which in a polite way is farvel. But you can also say, like the informal way of saying see you later, which is uh, vi six v6 then in a polite way you can say see you later which is po gensyn po gensyn which directly translated means on review yeah um so farvel på gensyn jeg elsker jer i love you Jeg elsker jer. Ja. Farvel.